Hello, I'm David Chaston with 98.9, Nine, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week at Everything You Need to Know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with news the EU has expanded its list of money laundering countries. But first in the US, January data on inflation out overnight shows it running at 1.6%. This is the smallest annual increase since June 2017. However, falling petrol prices had a lot to do with the result. The US CPI without food and energy is up 2.2%, the same rate as the previous two months. With this data, they've been able to work out the rise in US real weekly earnings, and they grew 1.9% after inflation, higher than the 1.4% gain in the December year. But even that good news isn't helping the US mortgage market. The latest data reveals that mortgage applications fell at the rate of 3.7%, a faster decline, and 5% lower than the same period a year ago. In China, their debt market got rattled again yesterday with another large company in technical default over a bond payment. In the end, they came up with the payment a day late, but the stress is showing and expanding. And China's sudden massive appetite for international travel is showing up in a fast-rising services deficit. In 2018, their overall services deficit exceeded 250 billion US dollars. And the EU has snubbed Saudi Arabia by adding it to a blacklist of havens for money laundering and terrorist financing, joining the likes of Iran, Syria and North Korea. The list of 23 jurisdictions also includes Panama, Puerto Rico and Samoa. And it updates an earlier shorter list. Eight of the countries listed are in the Commonwealth, four are American territories. In Australia, they've noticed the RBNZ Governor Adrian Orr's defence of its more capital requirements for banks. Eyebrows have gone up when he suggested that banks were on a free ride where returns can be privatised and losses can be socialised. In world equity markets, the positive sentiment carried on with expectations the US shutdown impasse is resolved and the President will sign up, and the hope that the positive talk in the US-China trade talks have some substance. On these expectations, the S&P 500 is up 0.3% in afternoon trade today. This follows European equity markets, who were up about half a percent overnight, and yesterday Shanghai closed up 1.8%, Hong Kong was up 1.2%, and Tokyo was up 1.3%. US Treasury 10-year yield is firmer today at 2.7%, up another one basis point. Their 2.10 curve is on 17 basis points. And gold is up $3 today to $1,312 an ounce. US oil prices are up again to just over $54 a barrel, while the Brent benchmark is just on $63.50 a barrel. Saudi Arabia is planning more output cuts, but the crude price rise today has been capped by reports of larger US inventories. And the Kiwi dollar will start today sharply higher than yesterday's, after yesterday's MPS-inspired jump, now at 68.2 US cents. On the cross rates were even higher at 95.8 Aussie cents and 60.4 Euro cents. That pushes the TWI back up to 72.8, which is where it was over a week ago. I'm David Chaston, and that was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.